Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the 2021 Top Tech Awards. Brought to you by Cox Business. Cox Business, an industry leader in connectivity and cloud services. And now, here she is, Associated Press and Emmy Award winning KFMB Channel 8 anchor and longtime Top Tech host and friend, Heather Myers. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Well, it's been a full year since our last Top Tech Awards and with all the progress that was made this spring, we felt confident that we would see you in person tonight. But seeing that that isn't the case, we're grateful for the ability to recognize our 2021 Top Tech honorees through the magic of technology. This evening, we'll recognize 10 top San Diego information technology executives from variously sized organizations across a variety of sectors. We'll also announce the 2021 Top Tech of the Year Award and Cox Business will announce its 2021 Cox Exemplary Award. Plus, we'll meet the recipients of two brand new awards, Top Tech's Disruptor Award and the Future of Tech Award. But first, please join me in giving her a familiar Top Tech welcome from our media partner, the San Diego Business Journal, publisher Barbara Chodos. Good evening. The San Diego Business Journal is proud to be the media sponsor of the 2021 Top Tech Awards. I want to take this opportunity to thank Cox Business for hosting this premier event that showcases the region's most innovative technology leaders in our community. As we are all relying on technology more than ever, Cox Business demonstrates the commitment and dedication to help all of our businesses succeed. The San Diego Business Journal publishes our weekly print publication as well as SDBJ site utilizing Cox Business Services and we appreciate the incredible customer service we receive as a partner. Congratulations to all the nominees and honorees. You make the community of business very proud. The October 4th edition of the San Diego Business Journal will include a recap of the 2021 Top Tech Awards, which will be available in print and online at sdbj.com. And now from our presenting sponsor, Vice President, Cox Business San Diego, Dwayne Cameron. Thank you, Barbara. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Life as we knew it has been altered. And while some have been focused on everything this pandemic is costing them, our technical community has been tucked away doing what they do best, creating solutions that enhance our lives. Tonight, you'll hear about a number of award-winning COVID response innovations. You'll also hear about award-winning innovations developed independent of the pandemic, but which, given where we are, seem very timely. Life is different than it was 18 months ago. And 18 months ago, it was different than it was 18 years before that. And it will continue to change, hopefully just not so dramatically in the short term. In the meantime, we can take comfort in the prowess of our IT community and their collective push to ideate and innovate. Thank you for your partnership and your need for speed. Congratulations again to tonight's 2021 Top Tech Award recipients, and thank you for joining us. From the beginning, Cox Communication has had one objective, connecting communities. Starting 121 years ago with a small newspaper in Dayton, Ohio, James M. Cox began a road of innovation that would span four generations and expand into a network of newspapers, radio stations, TV stations, cable providers, and has become the $20 billion company it is today. That fundamental belief in connecting communities is still at the heart of the company today. As a technology leader with a constant eye to the future, Cox Business stands proudly as a supporter of the innovation community. So a company like Cox, which is a 121-year-old family-run business, is a company that understands it. They've been doing it and reinventing themselves, just like entrepreneurs need to do. Quickly, we got to know the kind of people that work at Cox, which are long-term thinking, uh, community first. Once we got to go back to headquarters and really see their impact on the Atlanta startup community, it really all made sense that they aren't just here to protect their bottom line. They are building the ecosystem right around themselves with them as a focal point too. 
as a partner, working hard to raise awareness of the innovative tech leaders in San Diego. Top Tech, it's really, it's a, it's a San Diego institution. It's the best tech award in Southern California. You know, the San Diego tech community has been really fortunate to have a company like Cox support the Top Tech Awards for the last 15 years. There's so many inspiring tech stories here in San Diego, and Cox Business has been behind the scenes supporting the innovators in those stories. The Top Tech Awards gives us a platform to showcase innovators from our community in a way that's never been done before. And as an innovator of technology solutions, we believe the next five years will be transformative, and we will continue to travel forward and innovate our own products and bring new technologies to the marketplace that will support business and visionary minds like yourselves. Our sites are currently on investing in managed cloud solutions, investing in edge computing, and investing in a 10G capable full duplex DOCSIS standard. 121 years ago, James Cox couldn't have predicted the incredible technology we enjoy and depend on today. And I can't even pretend to predict what marvels of innovation lay ahead. But I can tell you that Cox Business will be there to encourage, support, and help lead this community of innovation that will shape our lives, businesses, and society for decades to come. Joining Cox Business's Top Tech Awards supporters, please join us in thanking media sponsor, the San Diego Business Journal. Supporting sponsors, AITP San Diego, Startup San Diego, Latina Geeks, Athena, Tech San Diego, Black Tech Link, and TEDx America's Finest City. And of course, thank you so much for joining us. Your displays of support and enthusiasm are just as vital to this show. So we encourage you to share your own shout outs and congratulatory wishes on your favorite social media feeds using the hashtags TopTech2021 and or TTA2021. And of course, you can comment below in the chat box. All right, as is the case every year, tonight's nominees were qualified by our Top Tech Judging Committee, co-chaired by Scientist.com Chief Technology Officer Chris Peterson and COO of Head of Product for Bluma Inc., Tal Almug. Gentlemen. Thank you, Heather, and thank you for joining me, Tal. I'm glad I could. Good evening, everyone. Tonight's venue may have been in question, but our protocols were not. This year, as happens every year, nominees were qualified and then selected in two separate rounds of judging facilitated by the Top Tech Judging Committee. Guided by criteria developed by the Top Tech Awards Advisory Board and with upward of 200 submissions, you can bet the process is long and final selections are never easy to determine. Please join us in thanking each and every one of the busy professionals on the Top Tech Judging Committee for their active and earnest participation. We'd also like to reiterate that at no time before, during, or after the judging process were any sponsors, vendors, advertisers, or other entities invited to weigh in or able in any way whatsoever to influence tonight's outcome of awards presented. Scores attributed to nonprofit, government, education, private and public business, and the 2021 Top Tech of the Year are all based solely on judging committee evaluations. 2021 nominees, we want you to feel our love and admiration. Everyone else, let your finger do the talking and start tweeting for your favorite nominee using hashtag TopTech2021 or use the chat box below. And nominees, please remember that if you are awarded Top Tech honors during this broadcast, we hope to show your happy and surprised face on camera. So have those cameras turned on. Congratulations and good luck to you all. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, we begin our presentation of the Cox Business 2021 Top Tech Awards as we do every year with the category of education. With returning and learning on the minds of educators who spent much of 2020 navigating the virtual classroom and getting back to pre-COVID activities, fueling the rest of us for a little less screen time, this year's 2021 Education Top Tech recipient led the launch of a COVID-19 exposure notification system, first within her educational institution and then statewide. Let's take a look. As Information Systems PMO Director of UC San Diego Health Information Services, Nicole May is committed to delivering effective, 
secure, customer-focused IT services to all of UC San Diego Health, including UC San Diego Medical School, Skag School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, UCSD hospitals and clinics in Hillcrest and La Jolla, and all UCSD health affiliates. In her role, May was tasked with spearheading the launch of the California Exposure Notification System, known as ENS, within UC San Diego. Initiated to leverage Novell Google and Apple smartphone technology for the enhancement of COVID-19 contact tracing efforts, California ENS would become part of the school's Return to Learn initiative, creating a roadmap for the safe return of students, faculty, and staff to campus. May and her team's execution of the ENS rollout at UC San Diego was so successful, they were asked to bring it to other schools in the UC system. By mid-November of 2020, ENS was being used by six USC campuses, including four of the five UC health systems. On December 10th, Nicole May and her team launched California Notify ENS throughout the state of California. And today, it is recognized as having the fastest adoption rate of any U.S. implemented emergency notification system. Downloaded by more than 10 million Californians, California Notify ENS is already notifying more people, more rapidly, of COVID-19 infections than any traditional contact tracing approach has been able to do. Navigating complex problems and delivering clear solutions seem par for the course for May, whose piece of cake project management system has been adapted to train employees at several UC systems. 2021 Education Top Tech Award winner, UC San Diego Health Information Systems PMO Director, Nicole May. In the category of government, the recipient of our 2021 Top Tech Award is known for his collaborative, inquisitive approach to problem solving and his ability to inspire inclusiveness and innovation. So let's meet him. David Graham is the Chief Innovation Officer for the City of Carlsbad, California's fifth largest city by population and the first to adopt a strategic digital transformation investment program that treats digital infrastructure planning and funding like physical infrastructure. It enabled the city of Carlsbad to drive adherence to public health orders and contain the rate of COVID-19 spread to among the lowest in the region. Graham's team also supported area businesses during the pandemic by providing a map of restaurants with data on hours and available types of service and an ESRI doing business in Carlsbad informational story map to help the city's continued economic development efforts. His team also designed and deployed in-house impact surveys with analytics and visualization tools built to enable the city to respond to changing economic conditions. Additionally, David Graham led the replacement of the city's reporting app with Carlsbad Connects, a public engagement, communication, and reporting tool that allows residents, businesses, and city workers to report and resolve nuisances and issues in the public right-of-way or on public property. It is in the spirit of teamwork that Graham also serves as a member of the Bloomberg Philanthropies Civic Innovators Network, helping U.S. cities bring bold ideas to life. Join us in recognizing 2021 Government Top Tech recipient, City of Carlsbad Chief Innovation Officer, David Graham. As Chief Information Officer for San Diego County's primary provider of pediatric hospital services and sole pediatric trauma center, our 2021 nonprofit Top Tech recipient helped Rady Children's Hospital uphold its covenant of cares within our community all while navigating the pandemic. Here's his story. At the onset of the pandemic, Rady Children's Hospital Information Officer Albert Oriel and his team were charged with two major initiatives. They would be necessary in upholding the hospital's mission to restore, sustain, and enhance the health and development potential of children. One, increase capabilities for remote working, and two, increase access to telemedicine. Given his foresight and pre-planning, it took only a matter of days for Oriole's team to scale up Rady's telemedicine service. 
ultimately increasing year-to-year -year telemedicine visits by more than 9,000% from 528 to more than 49,000. To increase remote working capabilities, the team deployed some 335 new laptops and enabled 900 devices to be used at home, simultaneously establishing remote use of the hospital's phone system through a mobile client. And while supporting the needs of 3,000 remote employees, Albert Oriol and his team were tasked by the county's newly implemented COVID Collaborative for Children to enable testing and reporting technologies for thousands of San Diego children, in addition to Rady Children's staff and providers. Today, the Rady Children's Vaccine Clinic's ability to schedule, track, and report continues to support not only internal efforts, but the San Diego community at large. In addition to helping ensure access to world-class care during the pandemic for San Diego children and their families, he is a fellow of the College of Health Information Management Executives and board chair of San Diego Health Connect. Please join us in recognizing 2021 nonprofit top tech recipient, Rady Children's Hospital CIO, Albert Oriol. In the world of healthcare, the digitization of patient information has been long and arduous, resulting in what are essentially disparate data silos. Enter this year's startup top tech recipient, CEO and co-founder of SaaS-based healthcare technology company, Seekster, and its seamless solution to disparate data. Let's meet Artie Arianpour. Artie Arianpour pioneered patient-centric interoperability with the belief that individuals should own and understand their own health data, a belief he shares with his co-founders. Seekster, a San Diego SaaS-based healthcare technology company, is enabling organizations to drive efficient healthcare via comprehensive medical records, individual genomic profiles or DNA, and personal health device data, while providing patients a platform with which to personally interact and engage with their health journey. Seekster's patented technology collects and aggregates real-time, real-world data across 4,000 hospitals and health systems, and 150,000 doctors' offices and clinics nationwide, enabling individuals to create their own matched, longitudinal health data profile. More critically, the platform is helping to solve a multitude of data challenges across the healthcare continuum, from patient onboarding and engagement to population health initiatives. And Ariane Poor's recent completion of a $12 million Series A financing and entry into a strategic partnership to provide the digital enterprise backbone for a leading global biopharma firm means a more connected future is in store for this top tech startup. No doubt there will be a community connection as well. Tonight's recipient recently put Seekster to work on behalf of the San Diego Blood Bank, helping to boost the organization's return blood donation rate by a whopping 60%. So join us in recognizing 2021 Top Tech Startup Award recipient, co-founder of Seekster, Artie Arianpour. Artie, the friends at Cox Business tracked down a well-known entrepreneur who has a message for you. Let's take a look. Hi there, Mr. Wonderful here. I love to support entrepreneurship. It's very important for me. It's the eternal American dream. Now, it's not easy to do it, and it's not a destination. It's definitely a journey. So every time a company gets honored for achieving a goal, and this is what's happening here, and I'm doing a big shout-out for the Tech Awards, the honoree for the startup category is Artie and Sequester. Now, this is a company involved in healthcare, but what we're really recognizing here is the fact that they've achieved this milestone. Great startup opportunity here. The challenge is just beginning, and that's the case for any entrepreneur. But to award them is very important, and I applaud it. I think it's fantastic, but it's just the beginning. I always say this to entrepreneurs, you should spend a few minutes smelling the roses when you get honored this way, but then get right off your hiney and get back to work because there's lots of competition out there. Take care, my friends, and once again, congratulations. It's an honor to win a category like this, the startup category. Keep up the great work, guys. To recognize this year's Cox Business Exemplary Award recipient, please welcome Director of Sales for Cox Business San Diego, Tiffany Marcus. Good evening. 
Each year, Cox Business recognizes an individual whose dynamic leadership enables business and influences change. The 2021 Cox Business Exemplary Award recipient is doing just that. As the CEO of a workplace platform that is both customizable and adaptable, he's bringing the separate ecosystems that exist in any organization together into digital alignment on one seamless platform. Let's meet ClickUp's Zeb Evans. Whether a small startup of two or an organization of tens of thousands, the click stops with Zeb Evans, who pioneered the only all-in-one customizable workplace productivity platform, ClickUp. Scalable for just about any sized business, ClickUp's platform is adapting to meet the workflow and communication needs of individuals, groups, and departments with differing work styles, processes, and procedures. The platform allows users who have access to more than 1,000 seamless integrations for tools they may already be using to choose the features and functionality most useful to them. The platform is completely intuitive, built to adapt to how the user works and requiring no coding to customize. Currently in use by some 300,000 plus teams, including the San Diego Padres, Uber, and Google, Evan's focus on seamless integration and infrastructure keeps ClickUp ahead of an industry flooded with products that make users conform and waste time. His focus on reliability and speed keeps the company well poised to capitalize post-pandemic as industries adjust to more remote ways of handling business. Please join us in recognizing our 2021 Top Tech Cox Business Exemplary Award recipient, CEO of ClickUp, Zeb Evans. This year's private company awards will be presented in two categories, small to mid-sized company of 20 to 150 employees and large company with more than 150 employees. Tonight's small to mid-sized private top tech award recipient is described as making engineering accessible and exciting. Well, how's that for a segue? Let's roll tape. At his core, David Damon is a positive thinker who inspires his team to take risk and always leads by example. He's considered a visionary in laboratory workflow management, data analysis, and automation, who is somehow able to meet technological goals with immediate solutions that have significant industry impact. As BioCero's chief technology officer, Damon's work to build and bring to market Green Button Go's proprietary orchestra suite is projected to significantly impact human health over the coming decade. The end-to-end -end laboratory management solution unites laboratory processes, data contextualization, and business technologies to accelerate operations and increase productivity. And when COVID-19 emerged, Damon responded with characteristic speed and aplomb turning away from his standard setting commitments to learning new technologies, customer satisfaction, and product life cycles in order to provide more than $2 million in Green Button Go access, consultation, and technical support to research teams, labs, and scientists using the tools specifically to help stop the spread of the virus. He's actually described as being super humanly positive, even while stretched to the limit. Impressive. Join us in recognizing 2021 small to mid-size private top tech award winner, BioCero Chief Technology Officer, David Damon. This year's recipient of the large private top tech award is credited with building a custom tech platform that extracts better outcomes for children who are living with autism. Here's his story. Autism is a complex multi-system medical and behavioral condition with at best a very fragmented standard of care that has made it difficult for families seeking diagnosis and support. Until now, through Cortica's custom tech platform Axon, built by Chief Technology Officer Ben Nathan, the company is able to defragment care, delivering a more flexible model across the firm's modern centers and telehealth connections, as well as the child's home and school. From complex care coordination, intelligent scheduling, clinical insights and decision support, family care management and progress tracking, and insurance billing and clinical data warehousing, Cortica's comprehensive approach also teams a pediatric neurologist with in-house behavior, speech language, occupational and family therapists, 
along with nutritionists and other professionals. Nathan's development of Axon has enabled better quantitative outcomes for children while reducing family stress. His focused oversight and inspiring digital strategy leadership has resulted in a net promoter score of 91 for Cortica and a growth rate of 75%. As part of his responsibilities at Cortica, Nathan also remains active in a number of autism advocacy groups to ensure that parents with special needs children have connectivity to the services that can best help them. Join us in recognizing 2021 large private top tech award recipient, Chief Technology Officer for Cortica, Ben Nathan. Our 2021 public company top tech recipient is credited with adding to the company's technological offerings, thereby helping to turn the tide of public perception. Here's his story. In his role as experienced senior vice president and general manager of identity, fraud, and data labs, Eric Haller's tenure has been nothing less than transformational. Not long after arrival, he launched Experian Data Labs, the research and development arm of the company that goes way beyond credit scoring to provide a safe and secure environment for collaborative research and problem solving. Today, his efforts continue to expand Experian's technology offerings, generating in excess of 100 million new business dollars for the firm's enterprise clients over the past year alone. In direct response to COVID-19, Haller and his team created an interactive heat map of geographic populations at risk of being most susceptible to developing severe cases of the virus. The Experian COVID-19 Outlook and Response Evaluator, or CORE tool, has been used to shape communication and outreach strategies, as well as to help determine where relief funds are most needed. For the country of Brazil, home to one of Experian's four global labs, Haller developed COVID Radar in Brazil in association with the UN and 50 other organizations to help people, businesses, and governments. The two-part initiative focuses on donations and the supply chain and aggregating and analyzing data for forecasting. Known for his approachability, compassion, and ability to work with just about anyone, Please join us in recognizing 2021 Private Large Top Tech Award recipient, EVP and General Manager of Identity, Fraud and Data Labs for Experian, Eric Holler. Our next two awards are new to Top Tech. The Future of Tech Award, which will be presented in a few moments by Cox Business Director of Regional Sales Support, Mike Varvis, and the Top Tech Disruptor Award, Presented now by Cox Business Field and Product Marketing Director, Rebecca Rosen. Welcome, Rebecca. Hello, everyone. The 2021 Top Tech Disruptor Award recognizes creative thinking in the traditional or non-traditional use of technology to develop superior technology solutions that alter the way consumers and businesses operate. That's a lot to digest. How about we show you why this year's honoree was chosen? The numbers related to childcare are mind blowing. About $57 billion is lost annually by U.S. employers due to the lack of available, affordable, quality care, an issue employed parents have been struggling with for more than half a century and with only fragmented support at best. Tutris, the child care platform developed under Jerome Fodor's leadership, offers a more holistic approach by empowering parents with the opportunity to review and virtually engage with free vetted and licensed options and child care providers with a dedicated place to enroll clients, automate their administrative functions and project future earnings. Moreover, the platform connects employers and subsidy programs making childcare benefits more accessible and easier to offer and manage. Fodor's Endgame with Tutris, affordable, convenient childcare on demand. So naturally, the platform is both web and app-based, enables more sophisticated search criteria for more specific budgets and needs, and offers real-time engagement. It also tracks and publishes up-to-the-moment childcare availability 
and has the user-friendly appeal of a social media app. Fodor and his team's work on Tutris is groundbreaking, not only because it intends to disrupt what has been a long-time challenge for working parents and their employers, but because it does so in a way that promotes entrepreneurialism and modernizes the entire childcare experience through digitization. Ladies and gentlemen, he's said to be an incredibly creative and open-minded leader who fosters and encourages open dialogue and feedback. Tonight, he becomes a second time recipient of a Top Tech Award, 2021 Top Tech Disruptor, Tutris Chief Technology Officer, Jerome Fodor. To present the Future of Tech Award, please welcome my colleague, Support Director, Regional Sales for Cox Business, Mike Varvis. Good evening. The Future of Tech Award has been established to celebrate tech industry content creators, managers and directors who have innovated and implemented technical products or services that have the potential to change for the better the way we use technology. With more than 20 years leadership experience in robotics and drones, Modal AI's Chad Sweet has propelled the drone industry forward by working with his team to develop autonomous, swap-optimized, blue UAS framework autopilots. It all started with Sweet, then with Qualcomm, set up to prove with his team that Snapdragon chipsets could power more than phones. They were designing, developing, and testing iterations of printed circuit boards, or PCB, that would enable ground and aerial vehicles to achieve autonomy. Ultimately, the goal was to create a PCB smart enough to continue to operate autonomously if it ever lost connection. And so it goes. One PCB iteration became Snapdragon Flight, now serving as the brains of the Mars helicopter Ingenuity, which is currently on the Red Planet as part of NASA's Mars Exploration Program. Sweet has since evolved and enhanced it, with Qualcomm's partnership as a plug-and-play PX4 compatible computing platform, equipped with GPS-denied navigation and obstacle avoidance. Modal AI's Voxel Flight Autopilot platform is US-made and operates on a developer-friendly open platform. It enables autonomous navigation and acceleration, raising the eyebrows and interest of a number of national brands. Which is to say that Sweet and Modal AI are just taking off. He already holds 15 patents that have advanced computer vision and wireless communications. Help us to recognize 2021 Cox Business Future of Tech Award recipient, Chad Sweet. Thank you, Mike and Rebecca, and congratulations again to Jerome and Chad. To recognize this year's top Tech of the Year Award recipient, please help welcome back CTO of Scientist.com and 2021 Judging Chair, Chris Peterson. Good evening. In 2015, tonight's top Tech of the Year recipient was recognized as a top tech exec for his work as part of an executive team that commercialized their groundbreaking, non-invasive prenatal diagnostic test. Dave Henderson's more than 20 year track record in strategic planning, technology development, cybersecurity, and product commercialization have benefited the nonprofit, media, and healthcare industries. Most recently, as the CIO for life sciences company Millennium Health, he's overseen the development of a proprietary online drug ordering platform as well as a novel data program to track dangerous drug use trends that is proving to be a valuable tool in the prevention of substance abuse. Here's more. For Dave Henderson, CIO of Millennium Health, the goal would be to develop a proprietary online drug testing platform that would combine disparate data silos and leverage more than 10 years of laboratory excellence, data intelligence, and clinical expertise to help transform the way clinicians improve patient care. One of the most exciting things about technology today is how it's being used to solve the most complex problems of modern society. Intellium SM would do just that by offering comprehensive insight to benefit patients, payers, and clinicians nationwide. It would also enable real-time analytics regarding emerging drug use trends based on the millions of test specimen Millennium Health processed annually. 
something that could be used in fulfilling the need for timelier public health data and reporting. One of our goals for the last few years is to provide real-time drug use data, uh, which then ultimately has led to our Emerging Threat Intelligence Report program. So one of the challenges of most companies is how do you aggregate millions of data points near real time in order to produce actionable insights for your customers and for the company. So Henderson and his team worked alongside Millennium Health CEO Andrew Lukowiak and Chief Clinical Officer Angela Husky, harnessing Intellium SM data to create real-time trend reports identifying emerging drug threats. The result was the creation of a nationwide initiative called the Emerging Threat Intelligence, or ETI program, providing meaningful real-time insights for more rapid health responses and collaborations with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ohio Department of Public Safety to provide ongoing data by way of donation. This award is very meaningful for me because it's given by the tech community in San Diego, and it's such a strong collaborative community here to be recognized by my peers is an incredible honor. A recent study, co-authored by HHS, identified significant changes in drug use during the COVID-19 pandemic, supporting the critical role that novel data plays in understanding the impact of such events on substance abuse, especially for those most vulnerable. Please join me in recognizing 2021 Top Tech of the Year Award recipient, Millennium Health CIO, Dave Henderson. Good evening, and thank you for this incredible honor. I would like to thank Cox Business, San Diego Business Journal, and all of the sponsors that have supported this event for over a decade. I'd also like to thank the Top Tech judges and extend my congratulations to all of this year's honorees. One of the reasons this award is so meaningful to me is that we are being recognized by our peers. The San Diego IT community is tight knit. One, over the course of 20 years, many of us worked at the same companies and thereby have continued and built on one another's work. I am humbled and grateful to be recognized by this community. Reflecting on some of the accomplishments Chris mentioned, I have to thank a few of my early mentors from back in the Paramount days. Bill Weber, Josh Comey, and Phil Murphy, whose technical expertise and commitment to operational excellence truly set the foundation for my career. I still find myself striving to live up to their standards, and that is a very good thing. I'd also like to thank the entire team at Sequinum, especially Dr. Matthias Eric. Matthias taught me never to be satisfied with the status quo, and that despite seemingly impossible odds, you can change the practice of medicine. Chris also mentioned the work that is being done at Millennium Health. Being a toxicology and medication monitoring company, prior to the COVID pandemic, we had already begun leveraging our data to provide illicit drug use trends that help apply resources in communities where they are needed. The overdose epidemic is systemic and relentless. Intuitively, you can imagine this would only get worse with the COVID pandemic. According to our analysis, we've observed an increase in overdose deaths more in the past year than any other time in the last decade. By partnering with various government and state agencies, we are able to provide timely and actionable data with the goal of saving lives. And while it is my privilege to receive this award, there are so many people whose skill, expertise, and sheer determination have brought this vision to fruition. Thank you to Amy, Shri, Mike, and Ray, and to their teams for pulling everything together. And a special thank you to Lewis Canales, whose passion for innovation and determination keeps us ahead of the data curve. We all know the best tech in the world will sit idle without collaborators and leaders to share the vision and do the heavy lifting. Penn Whitley, Dr. Eric Dawson, and Dr. Leah LaRue, thank you for leveraging technology to bring this important work to fruition. And thank you to Dr. Angela Husky and Dr. Andrew Lukowiak for creating the vision that is Millennium Health and enabling this space for the work to happen. And finally, to my family, thank you to my wife, Paige, who has been with me on this journey since my first unpaid internship in a computer lab, and my daughter, Calliope, who I'm sure 20 years from now will be showing me how to work the hologram machine again. Have a great night, everyone. Well, thank you, Dave. Spoken like a true top tech leader. And we have one more surprise for you. 
Hey Dave, it's Troy Aikman. And hey, I just wanted to congratulate you on this awesome award that you're getting from the San Diego Tech Awards and being the Tech of the Year honoree. That is awesome stuff. You've done an amazing job with Millennium Health and being at the top and being recognized for all of your great work and the impact that you've had on so many people is really uh, outstanding. So congratulations. It's always nice when your efforts are uh, rewarded and yours certainly are. So this is a great honor for you. Congratulations on all the great work that you're doing there at Millennium Health. All the best to you, pal. Ladies and gentlemen, join me with one more shout out to the Cox Business Top Tech Award winners of 2021 by tweeting using the hashtag Top Tech 2021. And of course, don't forget about that chat box below. We'll see them all again when tonight's winners are commemorated in the October 4th issue of the San Diego Business Journal. So look for that in your mailboxes. If you missed any part of tonight's broadcast, no need to worry. Top Tech will post this evening's awards presentation to toptechawards.com to view as you wish until 2022. And about Top Tech 2022, we hope to see you in person next fall to celebrate the Top Tech Awards 15th anniversary. Keep an eye on toptechawards.com and all social media for future event updates. One last very special acknowledgement to Cox Business, the San Diego Business Journal, and all of tonight's supporting sponsors for helping us bring Top Tech 2021 to all of you. On behalf of the entire Top Tech 2021 production team, I'm Heather Myers, encouraging you, no matter where you are, to continue innovating, motivating, and accelerating. Until next time.